the character really started as, you know, a sort of secretary, a sexy secretary with a skill set on the side and... Um, posing as. Posing as, thank you. Um, and, you know, we didn't know, uh, I, or certainly I didn't know how the audience would react to the character, my interpretation of the character, and obviously a very beloved character for a long time. Um, and, you know, I feel, and then the next time that we saw her in Avengers, she was sort of one of the boys, uh, for better or worse, and that, you know, made sense then, and, um, you know, as I think the fans and the audiences have really pushed, you know, certainly Marvel, but pushed all, all the studios and, and filmmakers to really, you know, throw up on the screen what represents what's going on in the zeitgeist and wanting to see, you know, uh, diverse uh, films and uh, casts that represents how they, you know, their own aspirations and how they feel. I think, you know, the character has sort of grown in reaction to that, and the movies have really grown in reaction to that kind of fan um, encouragement. And honestly, I have to say that, you know, it's it's so, I remember, you know, when Lizzie signed on, and I was so, and Colby was there, and, you know, I was we were all clinging to each other just to, you know, I felt like I'd had been in this, like, testosterone fest for such a long time. It was so nice to see, like, other female cast members. And then, you know, with Brie coming on and Karen and Denai and, you know, it, it just, it's become, it's really, you know, I feel like I'm in um, just this, you know, I'm amongst so many wonderful actors, so many strong actors and... Uh, and such, you know, such a, it's, it's, I mean, it's just grown beyond my wildest dreams. I could never have imagined where, where this would take us and us and all, all of us. It's you know, it's, I came at just the most magical time, I think, to come exactly at this 10 year anniversary. And really my first introduction to everyone was the 10 year photo, which was a really remarkable and special day and super surreal and also like not allowed to talk about it. So the whole thing has always felt like a dream. And this film will always be personally dear to me because it was my first time playing Captain Marvel. We shot this first. Right. So I had to stumble and try to figure out who this character was with no script for this and, and no script for uh, Captain Marvel either and um, perform for the first time in front of, you know, legends. Uh, but it was, it was incredible. I mean, I think the other part of it too is it's this, the set feels like this balance of as big as it is, it still feels like a bunch of kids like just like what I was doing over summer break, making movies in my garage, there's still this sense of wonder and play and encouragement. And um, of course, we this film deals with some heavy subject matters. And so you're bouncing in between things that feel very deep and serious. And then we're going off and, and playing Boggle, which I am very good at, <laughs> just to be clear. Uh, and and so it's it's nothing... There's no other word I can describe it as other than surreal, and I'm super excited for this to come out, mostly just so that I can talk about it. I want to be able to talk about my experience, yes. uh, which I haven't been able to do for a, a very long time. 